Good evening, Trade Flair family. Welcome back to the Nightly Breakdown, where we break down what happened today in the stock market, as well as give you an idea of what we're looking at into tomorrow. Now, before we head over to conduct a technical analysis of the SPY and five stocks, let's look at some key points to get a broader view of where we stand. Now, the first point I want to talk about is growth stocks, and growth stocks have really been leading the way for the past few days. We're seeing industries like biotechs, genetics, EVs, clean energies. With earnings right around the corner, there seems to be some positioning going on. And at this point, the market's kind of lining up to agree with the Fed saying rates are going to be raised in 2023. And the monetary and fiscal policy right now is ideal for growth stocks. And the yields are kind of at a key level and they're holding up where they're at. And that leads us into our next key point, which is again, the crypto, the bonds, and the dollar. Today, yields were up, the dollar was up, but overall, it looks like we're kind of finding a range here for the dollar and the bonds. The fact that they're chilling out a little bit is giving the market a little room to move. The fact that rates are chilling out at this level and they're not spiking up again is, is key for these growth industries and especially for these emerging markets. Overall, the rate situation is providing some sense of complacency for the market. All these growth companies are going back and popping after their sell-offs. Earnings is right around the corner. Tech is hot. This reminds me of, you know, when everything was hot in January, when everything was popping, right before everybody rotated into value stocks, and before everybody cared about CPI reports and inflation and the rates as much. We had squeezes, we had overvaluations, we had money flying everywhere. This kind of reminds me of that point. If we do get this run, if we do get breakouts above all-time highs for all these tech companies, from all these growth companies, it could start to look like a bubble and it could get really fast. You'll see valuations go crazy. Everybody will have money flying into everything. If we've got two years with these economic conditions, with this fiscal policy and this monetary policy, why not run it up, right? Especially with earnings season right around the corner. We got a lot of stuff opening up again. More spending's going on still. More people spend money in the summer. We've got more travel, more leisure. Corporate profits are consistently high. We're still expecting huge GDP growth next year. With the rates chilling out like this and the dollar kind of finding a level. Bonds kind of finding a level. And I really think this is interesting for the foreign markets, for the emerging markets, especially keeping my eye on these Chinese markets. We're seeing these Chinese companies like Li, Neo start to run. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Next, let's head over to our third key point, which is as always indices and sectors. Today was led by the small caps, IWM, Russell, right behind the queues, closed barely positive, while the SPY and the Dow both trailed behind. The consumer discretionary sector was up the most today, led by the automobiles. Right behind was energy and financials. Closing barely red, we had communications and tech. On the downside, we had materials, utilities, consumer staples, healthcare, and industrials. They were all down slightly with the dollar up, but if the dollar sells off, watch for the reverse to happen. I also added here the emerging markets ETF because they were up leading the way today. I really do want to keep an eye on this one. So now that we have an idea of what to expect, let's dive into our analysis, starting off with the SPY ETF, which tracks the S&P 500 index. And looking at today's daily candle, we have a small little inverse hammer candle, a lot less volume, a much tighter range than we've seen for the past few days. On a positive note, we did close in the upper third of yesterday's candle. So this would remain in a bullish trend if we were to go ahead and break today's high tomorrow. But overall, you can see this volume tapering off as the Fed hype from last week is chilling out. If we do go lower, we're going to use yesterday's low as support. If we break through that, we're looking at the 50 day moving average and then this trend line support. So now that we have an idea of where our broader market sits, let's head over to the watch list, starting off with workhorse ticker symbol WKHS. And this is a huge bullish engulfing candle on the daily breaking out of this bull flag bull pennant. And this is one of those companies that has a huge part of their float shorted. I like the increase in volume pattern wise, everything's kind of pointing towards the squeeze towards the run. So yeah, I think we could go to eight $18 here soon and if we do break above 18 1850 then I think we go all the way to $25 if we do go higher if this thing starts squeezing then we go to the top of the gap at 2850 the options on this thing are kind of crazy so be careful manage your risk if you're gonna be playing this I don't think this is a company that I want to invest in and hold long term but I do have some money on some short-term contracts I'm playing the squeeze next up on the watch list I have rocket company ticker symbol RKT and I really like this one I see a bullish engulfing on a retracement. I see a lot more volume than the average. I see a close above the 50 day SMA. And just like UWMC, this is a good company, but I see a lot of short squeeze hype about this on Wall Street Bet. So keep your eye out for RKT. Next up on the watch list, I've got Ford, ticker symbol F. And today the automobiles led the consumer discretionary sector. And I like the fact that Ford just broke out of this recent resistance trend line. It looks kind of like a bull flag. Nice green continuation candle, a nice 
bit of volume. I really do think we could head up to highs at 1650, especially seeing the energy from the whole industry like this, as well as the EVs kind of going off right now. So watch for it to potentially go higher. Next up on the watch list is another growth company, Plug Power, ticker symbol plug. And on the daily, we can see a recent uptrend. Hammer candle on today on a bunch of volume. And this is right off the 200 day SMA. Now if we break through 3441, I think we can go a lot higher all the way up to $40. That's the bottom of the gap over here. So I'm looking at the July 16th $40 calls for this one. Next up is Alibaba, ticker symbol BABA. And looking at this one, this one's had enough. We're kind of seeing volume creep up here. And like I said, I like the emerging markets right now. I said I want to watch China. I wouldn't mind taking an aggressive trade right now, but I really would be interested if we do break the 50 day moving average. And that's going to be somewhere around this bigger resistance trend line. And that could really lead to a full reversal here. So watch out for this. Next up is a member suggestion and it's NEO. And like I said, I want to watch these emerging markets, the Chinese trade, the Chinese plays. And as it sits right now, we're kind of in an area of consolidation, but I do really want to watch to see if this one starts to break out. I'm really looking for an influx of volume, a little more consolidation and a break to the upside, a break of the 148 level. But like I said, I really want to watch the emerging markets in the Chinese stocks. So watch out for this one. And that wraps up tonight's nightly breakdown. If you enjoyed the video, if you gained value, or if you learned something, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified whenever we post any live or educational content. If you're looking to join our team and be surrounded and motivated by our online community of traders and investors, as well as gain access to trade signals that let you know whenever we make a trade, check out the link in the description below to join our Discord, gain full access by upgrading to TradeFlare Pro, get half off your first month using the discount code TFPRO2021. You could lose money, so use the information inside these videos at your sole discretion. And as always, you cannot forget that time is your most valuable asset. So quit wasting it. Get up, get out, and go get it, my friend.